hey guys queen of hearts here and welcome back to my channel today's video i am so excited because i haven't sat down and filmed a um content video in a while so i'm taking a break from vlogs just for a little bit just for a little tt and i'm going to be talking to you guys about charlotte north carolina so um yeah before we get started make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel also give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like these or even if you you know just enjoy my channel and you want me to keep posting more videos so give me a thumbs up like comment and subscribe you have four things to do so i'm gonna wait go ahead and do that and you can go ahead and comment even before you watch this video go ahead i'll wait I'm kidding. So as I stated, this video is all about Charlotte, North Carolina. If I could tell you the amount of DMs I've gotten from people who don't live here, even from people who do live here that ask me where to go. From uh, parties, restaurants, you name it. So, dun 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 dun. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, so. I'm finally having a chance to be able to sit down and talk to you guys. Today's video is going to focus on restaurants. So I have six black owned restaurants and then I have some fine dining restaurants. And I even have a couple of, or two, um, places where you can go for a nice vibe, chill vibe. I do want to make a disclaimer that this video is based on my experiences. If you live in Charlotte or have been to Charlotte and you think that some other restaurants or places that I'm going to mention are better, do you boo. Do you is fine. This is based on me and what I've experienced from living in Charlotte, North Carolina, which has been about seven years now. I think we moved here 2014, 15. So yeah, let me stop rambling and let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get into it. If you see me looking down, I wrote this information down at work so I can remember everything I wanted to tell you guys about these restaurants. So don't mind if I look down. First of all, we're gonna start this video with the black owned restaurants that I feel like you should visit when you're in Charlotte, North Carolina. I have six of them, so let's get into it. These are going to be restaurants that have soul food, home cooked meals, um, you know, that after Sunday dinner you need before you take a nap on Sundays. Yeah, those type restaurants. I have three of those for you. So the first one is Mr. Charles. The second one is London's Place. And the third one is Floyd's. So all of these restaurants I have been to on a, I promise you, I've been to on a Sunday afternoon after church. Food was so good. And I'm, I'm talking about catfish, fried chicken, um, greens, yams, macaroni and cheese. Y'all. First of all, I'm from the South. Let's, let's be clear. I'm from the South. So a girl needs her Sunday afternoon meal. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. There are also two other black owned restaurants that I do want to mention in this video that are, that don't go with the home cooked soul food uh, meal restaurants that I just mentioned. Another black owned restaurant that I do want to mention is called Seventh District Restaurant and Lounge. They have hookah, they have good drinks, they have a little bar area. It's real cute in there. For events like CIAA, they did have a cover charge but i think if you just walk on there on a daily basis they don't um pretty sure they don't let me tell you my favorite dishes at seven district okay so i have gotten their shrimp and grits i think they have a fish and grits as well i'm not sure if I, i'm not sure if i tried that but the shrimp and grits are bomb uh the pasta is bomb their mumbo wings are bomb hot wings bomb i think any flavor wings from seven district are bomb if you don't know i love wings especially hot wings with blue cheese. Oh my God, all flats. Okay, that's not what this video is about. But 7th District, I highly do suggest you guys go visit. They are amazing. I mean, the atmosphere is good. It's a lot of black people, a lot of love in there when you go visit. So definitely check out 7th District. So I forgot to mention, a friend of mine had a, um, like she hosted a birthday dinner there. It was just a great atmosphere. So if you can, if you'd like to, um, you know, grab your friends, um, I think she had like maybe 15 people that came. Um, service was amazing. Food was great. Okay, so I've given you four black owned restaurants already. The fifth one is going to be Sports One. I'm sure you've heard about it. Uh, Peter Thomas, I think that's his last name, Peter Thomas. 
Cynthia Bailey's, for reference, Cynthia Bailey's ex-husband from um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. He has a restaurant here in Charlotte. I believe he had a club too, but they're closed down. I think, I don't know if they reopened. I don't know. But his, um, his restaurant is called Sports One. That's the place to go on Saturdays and Sundays for brunch. Um, also, the nightlife Saturday night is pretty good too. It's an older crowd um, if you do plan to go on Saturday night. So if you're, I would say, 18 and down, that crowd wouldn't really be for you. But definitely, no, I, I would say... I would say probably 23, 24 and down, you might not want to go to um, Sports One, but for the older crowd, it's definitely lit. They have a DJ every Saturday. I believe they have a DJ every Sunday. My favorite dish at Sports One, I've had the jerk chicken. I've also had the, um, the chicken and waffles bomb. Um, they come with like this pecan butter sauce or some kind of some kind of spread that you can put um, on your waffles um, of course hot sauce syrup everything that you need for you know the combination of chicken and wa waffles it's very good um, they have a what is it they have a fruity pebbles drink that's really good and I feel like it's a strawberry Hennessy type drink they also have that's really good so those are the things that I would recommend if you are planning to um, go to sports one if you do plan to go to sports one um, on a Saturday night I believe there is a cover charge for men I think maybe 10 15 dollars if that after like 11 or midnight for women it's free um, everyone isn't in there you know just sitting down there's like a dance floor as soon as you walk in so the DJs are the DJs right here and then you have people in front of the DJ you know dancing just having a good time they also have this outside patio it's like um it's really cute it's really cute for brunch time um I do believe that they reserve that for like larger parties or just people who you know want to be in the mix but kind of out of the mix that type thing I would highly suggest making reservations for sports one though for brunch on both Saturdays and Sundays because they can get really busy but I promise you you'll have a good time um they also have some really good mimosas so yeah I would definitely suggest heading to sports one the next time you're visiting Charlotte okay so restaurant number six this is also another black owned restaurant here in Charlotte North Carolina is called Quidley's Delight it is a Caribbean restaurant um, you can tell as soon as you walk in that it's a Caribbean restaurant, I believe. I don't know if he's the owner or not, but he's always there when I go. Um, he's like this tall, dark-skinned looking man. He's always singing. Um, and when I tell you this man sings really loud, he does. Like You can tell that he enjoys the work and just enjoys talking to people and just creating a good atmosphere for people to want to dine in to quickly. So... I'll tell you guys what I ordered there. There I get a small jerk chicken plate with rice and peas, um, yams. Sometimes I do get the potato salad. That's really good. So yeah, is that all? I'm very, I'm very routine. So once I find something that I like at a restaurant, that's what I get every time I go. So uh, Quilly's Delight. It's decorated like this bluish, orangish color on the dining side of the restaurant. It's very caribbean like i love it i love when you go into the restaurant and you can you know just feel the culture and the atmosphere is just wonderful and food is great service is good so that is all of my um black owned restaurants that i wanted to let you guys know about here in charlotte north carolina make sure you go visit okay okay and eat good for me okay because your girl loves food <laughs> okay so i also get a lot of questions about like um, especially around like the holidays or Valentine's Day, I get a lot of questions about where people should um, go go on dates at, what's a cute atmosphere for a nice dinner. And because I love fine dining, fine dining is like, I, I think it's a form of self-care for me. I really do because I really enjoy getting dressed up, get, getting pretty and going out to dinner and just, you know, calming my nerves knowing I look good because when you look good you feel good you eat good everything just works together okay so I have how many restaurants do I have 
I have six fine dining restaurants that I wanted to tell you guys about as well. Um, let's start with Eddie V's. I've been there, I believe, twice. The crab cakes are amazing. They are about that thick. That thick of a crab cake. If, you, if you're like me, you love seafood, that crab cake was the best crab, I think, yeah. That crab cake is literally the best crab cake I've ever had. They also have, um, it was some, it's on the appetizer menu, I think, but it's like jumbo shrimp and a butter sauce. Chef's kiss. <laughs> I love that. Um, what else have I had? I have had, I've had their um, macaroni cheese. I don't think I was a fan of their mac and cheese, but they do have some um, really good poached um, mashed potatoes with crab in it. That's really good. It's either, no, not crab. It's lobster, so that's really good. So I would suggest getting those things if you love seafood like me, um, if you want to go to Eddie B's. Second restaurant is Capital Grill. I really cannot remember what I ordered from them the last time I was there. But, um, you know, if you're looking for a nice evening with your boo, I would suggest going to Capitol Grill. Um, birthdays, they do bring out dessert, so that's a plus. Um, Capitol Grill is also in downtown, well, uptown Charlotte, <laughs> um, along with Eddie B's. And the third restaurant I want to tell you guys about is Steak 48. It's a new restaurant here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Did it open this? I think it opened January this year 2021 um they have amazing food my mom had like some what was it some type of it looks like bang bang shrimp shrimp that was really good they have this amazing appetizer bread um you can get one with like parmesan and then the other one is like I don't know I saw salt sprinkles I don't know but they both are amazing I would put steak 48 at the very top so between steak 48 and eddie b's i would definitely suggest going um and you know just enjoying and experiencing um the vibe at those two restaurants those are my top two for the next restaurant we have fahrenheit everybody <laughs> everybody knows about fahrenheit it's the one with the amazing view the skyline of charlotte they also have like this little fire pit in the middle that's really beautiful i'm pretty sure if anyone has been to charlotte and been to fahrenheit they have taken a picture um on the outside patio that has the skyline in the back that's a really that's what they're popular for um they have a good short rib I'm just gonna put that out there the short rib is bomb um I feel like I got something else the last time I was there oh it was blooming onions and I think it had like either lobster or crab that's really good too at Fahrenheit I told y'all I love seafood anything with seafood on the menu I'm gonna get it <laughs> but Fahrenheit is bomb if you're looking for a nice view of the city of Charlotte I would definitely suggest Fahrenheit um great for pictures great for like off work kind of cocktail vibes dinner with your friend girls it's just a it's really pretty at night um that's when i would definitely suggest going to fahrenheit is at night during the day i don't think it'll be as much as a vibe uh, as it is at night so yeah next restaurant is flemings and dresslers so fleming flemings is uptown charlotte and dresslers is in the metropolitan area of charlotte they both are really good um from dresslers i do get the pasta all the time um it's really fresh it's really it's cute in that area as well um from flemings they have a good steak they have a banging caesar salad um i think that's why i love salmon caesar salad so much is because they have a bomb caesar salad at fleming's so for the restaurants that i just mentioned um as far as attire and what you should wear you know you want to make sure that you're appropriate i don't know about y'all but i like looking good when i go out i'm not just about to wear everything especially if i know i'm going to a nice place come on now you got to represent um, but yeah, I would highly suggest business casual or, you know, just a nice dress, um, not too short. For guys, I would definitely suggest some slacks, um, maybe a khaki pair of pants, collared shirt. Just make sure you look presentable, okay? 
Okay, not like you going to the club. Presentable. Great. The last two, if you are looking for, I would say cocktail hour, nighttime, um, conversation, um, aesthetic, yeah, those type things, these next two I'm gonna mention, you're gonna wanna, you know, look into. The first one is, I know I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, Nuvole, N-U-V-O-L-E or L-L-E, I don't know. I don't know. I've been there, I think, twice. Um, really good drinks. The drinks are superb. Nuvole is located in Uptown Charlotte as well. Um, it has the amazing, beautiful, view of charlotte they also have fire pits in the um in the fall and winter that's really pretty um that give off a lot of heat play does have um music sometimes too um i would definitely suggest going there you know right after you get off of work for a nice cocktail um it's even nice around you know the eight to ten ish time because a lot more people are there um, you just get to like mingle with a cute little drink, you looking good, you know, just networking and getting to know people. I feel like New Valet is the perfect place for that. It, New Valet is on the, um, the highest floor, the very top floor of the AC Hotel, which is in Uptown Charlotte. So, yes. The second place is Restoration Hardware. So, I actually have not been there. I am trying to get there, but I just have not been there yet. But this is the last place. Um, as far as their menu looks, um, I like to eat. So, I don't know if it's something I would really go on an empty stomach and try to try out. But, um, as far as aesthetic, what looks inside, it is absolutely beautiful i've seen a lot of pictures a lot of videos a lot of talk to, uh tiktok videos of restoration hardware um and it looks amazing i am definitely planning to treat myself on a date <laughs> there very soon but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video of all the restaurant uh options and ideas that i've given you if you're visiting Charlotte, North Carolina. As I stated in the beginning, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I think that is all. I'm not going to ramble too much longer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.